Ableton Live has some great DJ effects. The effects are what guys use to create breakdowns and transitions between tracks. And we can access those here under audio effects. The traditional would be adding an EQ3 on each one of these. Let's drag it over. And this gives us your tr traditional kill switches and your gains that a typical DJ mixer would have to this. Okay, so I've got a DJ mixer on each one and I can or just bring it up like this. And typically what'll happen is when I bring in a second song, I don't bring in the lows. I don't stack the kick drums like that. So in this case, we have just the top end of the song because I've killed the low end. And here on this one, we have all of it, okay? Okay, and if you suspect that all these could be mapped, you would be exactly right. And again, it's effective to go crossfading of tune, but it's even more effective to crossfade it using frequency. Yeah, bring this in, bring this one out. Okay, so those are your traditional DJ effect mixers. I'll cut those. And I'm just going through these so that you can get an idea for the possibilities. Up here in the audio effects rack is a performance and DJ area. And you'll find that some of these are going to be very, very useful. And one of the most useful is fade to gray. Okay, and if I put a fade to gray on both channels and I play this again, just let you listen to one for a second here. basically takes it out and then you can just fade it or bring it back in And you can see how it still keeps going, even though I'm not playing. So it's just perfect for a track. I'll just let you hear it one more time. Now I can stop this. Okay, that's Fade to Gray on both tracks. So I would get in here and play with these. I have. Okay, another one is the Super Looper. Dubstep guys love this one because it's the classic beat repeat. So just let you hear what it does. So that's the 
super looper there. Okay, so just go through these. The DJ Master Channel will help get an idea. This is the same kind of three band cut EQ that I was showing you, but it has a auto filter on it. These are designed to help you transition between tracks. So that is looking at some master DJ effects found in the performance and DJ section of the audio effects rack. And then the other thing that I like to do is have one good finished sort of a sound. I actually use third party plugins for this, but try some of these mixing and mastering over your master fader. And what I do is I just sit there and play similar track over and over again and swap in and out of it with this hot swap button. that one. All right. Next, we're going to show you how to map some of these 